Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I know, it's, I just love coming up here. Any excuse that I have. I'm Megan Govey. We are here today with Leather Stores on the rooftop of Noble Rot, a sustainable eatery and wine bar here in Portland, Oregon. And Megan, I'm glad you're here. Um, Noble Rot started about 12 years ago, over on 28th and Ankeny. We did, however, have a, a little garden patch, and I think that got the fever going for me. Um, we moved into this location three years ago. We kept the garden going with Noble Rot and have been adding to it every year. I know that you guys form your menu with the seasons right. and what's available. Right. Um, could you tell me what you have growing right now? <gasps> <laughs> we have, um, sure, right now, as we're sort of winding down, we have quite a few of the mustards that we always grow, and that includes some Asian mustards, uh, komatsuna, which is a purple kind of shovel-shaped mustard, like a uh, tatsoi, arugula, uh, curly mustards, a, a spicy kind of watercress. We're growing broccolis, lots of cabbages. Those kinds of vegetables actually appreciate and do better with a the freeze. They're not going to go down to the ground, they get sweeter. We'll be planting garlic and shallots very soon for next spring. Um, we do have a number of things that will overwinter. There's a green that we have in our garden just as a, a naturalizing kind of self-sowing thing that's called mosh. That too is very uh, resistant to the cold temperature. The biggest problem with gardening here in the winter, of course, is climbing out of that hatch and dealing with this awful weather. Um, leaks. Peas, all sorts of herbs. I have a Meyer lemon tree. My bees, I guess you could say they're growing. <laughs> rhubarb, uh, our rhubarb, for whatever reason, is uh, remarkable, bionic. I'll come up in the morning and pick some, and I'll come up the next day, and there are shoots that have taken its place. There's, and, and you're just a kid. But when I was young, there was a, a, the bionic man, and so whenever I come up and look at the rhubarb, I'm thinking, no, 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 we feel like this garden is a way for Noble Rot to be cutting edge, to be interesting to consumers. And the concept that, that keeps coming back to me and the benefit of this restaurant that I did not expect is that my cooks are more familiar with vegetables, more familiar with the cycle of the seasons, and most importantly, they understand how difficult it is to bring something from a seed to the kitchen. They also know that if they mess up something that we grow, smoke starts to come out of my ears and this little vein starts to kind of go bumping. So they are especially careful with the things we grow. And by extension, they're especially careful with all of our vegetables. Could you maybe show us how you can incorporate your garden into an item on your menu? You bet. Um, let you and I walk around. I'll point out a couple things. I am going to make you do the harvesting. Is that okay. all right? That is okay with me. Great, let's do it. I'll get some scissors and we'll, we'll do it. All right, impress me, Leather. <laughs> Show me what you got up here. All right, right now, these are very unusual yellow snow pea. And I want you to pick about five or six of those, and then you can see the purple flowers. Yes. About the same amount of those. Just snip them off with your fingernail. Yeah. Um, so there's a few of those, and let's get one more. And then let's just turn straight around, and you'll see also peas. These are uh, more traditional green snow, and the little top immature tendrils like that are very tender and delicious. So here we have some beautiful flat leaf Italian parsley. Ooh. You know, why not? It's right here. It's not gonna make it worse. Get a little of that, and then come on this way. There's one more vegetable that I wanna grab, or one more herb, excuse me, right down here. This is tarragon. I said one, and then I stopped when I saw this. This is called sorrel, and um, it's, a, it's a very, very sharp kind of lemony herb. Take a little bite of that. You'll get the pucker from it. It is full of what's called oxalic acid, which gives it that sour quality. You wait mm. a second, then it'll kick in. You oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, really, it kind of gets your saliva going. And it really, really kind of puckers your mouth up. Yeah, it's bit. very lemony. Yeah. Yeah. And then so if it goes together, grows together. <laughs> so right there is a little bit of mint. And um, mint and peas are very fond of one another. So let's throw that in there too. And I feel like that's probably good. 
Got a nice little setup here. They're kind of farmy. We're sitting on the hay bale and some two by sixes. <laughs> what we'll do here is dump all that stuff out and I'm gonna have you do a little tiny bit of preparation right back into the bowl. The peas you can see here have that little connector that where they were attached to the plant. Snap that connector and pulled it down and ideally a string will come with it. Yeah, good, and then just throw it in there. And it's kind of fun. It, it makes you think a little bit differently about a plant if you see it in all its available permutations. I'm gonna just yank the, the petals off of these flowers. Mint, just pick little leaves. I need about eight, throw them in there. And then I've got that parsley and I'm just gonna grab a couple little small leaves of that too. Here's that sorrel, that sharp, acidic thing and we're going to do what's called a chiffonade and what you do there is you roll it up kind of like a cigar put it on the board and then what happens when we unroll them is we have a julienne oh. one more because i like that flavor a little tiny bit of olive oil tiny bit of salt one grind here and just uh, a bit of lemon juice Ooh. um Toss, toss, toss. Don't beat it up because all that acid will, will break those um, flowers down immediately. I'm just going to lay down a little olive oil on this cute rectangular plate so they stick. And then we're going to kind of walk these things down the plate. You know, you eat with your eyes. You eat with your nose. You eat with your eyes. And if you've decided something is delicious before you eat it, well, then, you know, half my job is done. <laughs> Pick that up. Pick up a pinch with your hands and eat it. Wow. There's so much flavor. Try more. Let's have it all. I can really taste the tarragon and the mint. Yeah. Thank you, Leather, for showing us your business. It's so cool that you've been able to create your vision of a sustainable eatery and wine bar. Thank you. It's clear that a noble rot will be eating well. I am Megan Govey, bringing you the tools to be sustainable today.